What up, Dave? What a glorious day. Halloween, October 31st, 2020. About 8 in the morning. And it's already hot. Only in California, man. Look what we got today. Now this is steep. Can you even see? Let me try to zoom in. I don't know if I can see right there. I'm going to throw up the drone right now. But we got a Mustang. Yet another Mustang. It's at about 350 feet down. So we brought extra choker cable. I got all my repelling gear. Let's do this. Let's see. This was point of contact. Launched it pretty good. And let's see. I see it. It's upside down. Alright. Well, unlike most other calls, this one's actually uh, probably the most straight shot I've ever had. I mean, there's virtually nothing in the way in terms of like trees, forests, woods, um, sheer cliff-like drops. The only thing is it's very, very, very rocky and very steep. Yeah, now you can get a sense of how steep it is from here. Where's Big Flipper? Oh, dang, that's it? Yeah, that's how steep it is, man. What a great way to spend my Halloween. I love it. Doing what we do best. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking two lines with me. Both main cables on Big Flipper. Uh, with my hiking backpack and all my accessories. I'm probably going to attach two straps. One on this tire right here. And let's see, one on this tire on the rear. We're gonna pull on it first. I'll give Dave the okay using my headsets. And once it's flipped, then I'm gonna re-rig. I'm gonna have to go to the axles because you can see here that the whole tire came off, the whole wheel. Didn't even see, oh, and then the muffler's hanging out, so this is gonna be a good one. Should be easy once we flip it to throw everything inside. Then uh, do what we do best. Bring this baby home. Ooh. Once airborne, Dave should have no problem swinging it and putting it up on my bed. Unlike other calls too, it's just rare for these over the side ones. Because we have a lot of room, we're in a turnout. Usually you have to be blocking a lane. So I'm going to back up the flatbed. A little bit right here. So when Dave winches up. Or actually I should put the flatbed by the cop car. And then when Dave winches up. I'll just drag it right onto my bed. Easy as one, two, three. Took off the snatch blocks from Big Flipper to part the, make the line single. We can use all 250 feet of cable. I got about 100 foot of extra choker cable here. Extra shackles. I got my harness that I'll be putting on right now. And I'm gonna throw in all my rigging supplies. These container slings, I use them literally every day on every job. Today will be no exception. And I got some rim slings. So, just need to throw on the wireless headsets, throw on the harness, and off we go. All right, I'm locked and loaded. Ready? Yeah. All right, as you winch me out with this one, I'm going to be holding on to this one. Oh. Alright, 
Oh, dang. All right, let out, let out, let out. This is difficult. Good thing that's my middle name. You can start letting me out. Oh, uh, you're pulling me. <laughs> Great. It wouldn't be a hiking adventure if I didn't just eat it. <laughs> no. I'll get up right now. I should have got my hiking sticks. <clears throat> Let out. Wait, let out. Oh, this is rough. Now, hold on, I need to get that other. All right, hold it. Ugh. All right, I can leave the green one now. By the time, by the time the car gets up to this spot, we can start taking off the choker. There's a couch coming at me and it stopped. <laughs> Avalanche. Don't tell me it's on the cable. Oh, oh I'll pull it. I can dodge a I can dodge a couch. Yeah, this is no good. Once the end of the choker cable hits that gravel, I'm not gonna be able to pull that couch. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I'm bringing the whole couch with me. Yeah. And on the bright side is once I get to the bottom at the Mustang, I can uh, rig the couch and ride it up. Yeah. All right, so that's all the cable we have. 100 feet of choker and 250 on big flipper and I'm still not there yet, so it's a little over 350 feet. The good thing is I have all my straps, so I can attach to one of the tires, bring it over to flip it, drag it up a bit, and then get a really secure attachment. I barely made it, man. Ugh. Oh my God, that was a pain. If you can see my 100 feet of choker cable plus 200 feet, barely, barely was enough. So I hooked it up. I'm going to pull from that front tire right there just to flip it 
and get it closer so I can get it uh, from two parts. I don't have enough. I brought just enough slings to barely make it. So, Dave, start putting tension on it. I see the line moving. This is going to be cool. Oh, I see the couch. <laughs> it's coming to me. <laughs> All right. Keep pulling. Oh my god, textbook. Textbook. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold it there. All right, my beauty of my hookup, those container slings are cut resistant. See that digging into the blue part? That would have cut a strap, but not these slings. All right, Dave. How about, uh, let me stand back, Mora, and I'll have you pulling, all right? All right, Dave, start pulling in. That's a 5.0 Mustang right there. Or was. Go big flipper. Yeah, that's perfect, man. Now when you when you drop it, give me slack. I can I can connect to the front too. Keep going all the way. Right there's good. All right, hold it there. Yeah, that sucker ain't going nowhere, man. Driver rear tire missing. Extensive 360 TC damage. Total loss. That's my opinion, though. You know, there's people that are going to say they could buff it right out. All right, that was not easy to rig. It is very hot, and these things are very sharp and prickly. Um... Yeah, container sling on each rim, joined in the middle to a shackle to the choker. I'm gonna get to safety up ahead and I'm gonna have Dave start winching in. You ready, Dave? All right, let me climb up ahead and I'll tell you when. All right, winch in, please. Excellent. Don't stop. Excellent. All right, I'm at a safe distance to the side. Dave's gonna be winching up the Mustang. Once he gets to where I'm at, he'll let out, uh, let out on the cable. I'll pull it out so I can eliminate these chokers. Each choker is an additional 50 feet. Dave, hold it. I'm gonna stand to the right a little bit because it's gonna wanna come up where I'm at. Hold on. Hey, look, here's that couch from earlier. <laughs> yeah. It's upside down. <laughs> All right. All right, you're good to go. <clears throat> you're gonna hit that rock right there, but Big Flipper should bring it right over like nothing.
you just made that Mustang 4x over that boulder. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're clear, Dave. Win shin. So this thing was an absolute pain uh, for me to hike back up. It was getting really hot and I stopped the GoPro for it, but I got rid of all the choker cables and used the Big Flipper second line to pull myself back up. Took a 10 minute cool down and I'm recharged and ready. You notice my containers things are working absolutely amazing. Ooh. It's funny, they're called container slings, yet I use them on every job possible. Really pull this guy a good distance, huh? Let's see if I can follow back the trail. Oh man, I could see it clearly. Way over here. Almost there. Alright, Dave, I'm going to start getting the flatbed ready. You brought more than the couch. Land the drone and help Dave with the flatbed. Get it in position already. Or I'll do that at the end. Mustang. Well, that looks cool. Oh no, we did damage. <laughs> Wait, hold it there. That's a dope shot. Hey, 
Hey Dave, the red cable. All right, free spool, good. Scared me. You're gonna pivot it against that. Yeah. Once you do that, I'll back up the flab it to it. Very smart. Oh look, you brought up the mattress with you, I just noticed. Big flipper always has to take a souvenir. Perfect. Very nice. Cable out. Leave it there. I'm gonna back up to it just like that. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm making sure there's nothing right here, but that'll mess up the flatbed. Backing up, Senor Dave. Push it out with the rest of the bed. It's on. No, I don't need it. How do you do it? working two trucks at the same time. Hey, hold it there. Hold it right there, Dave. That's actually a dope shot, hold on. This angle it looks like a 5.0 hatchback. Wait. I can just 
just have to get this on video. My container slings. Bad. That is amazing work. Huh? Which one? Oh, I thought you meant it's on like it's physically on. The engine's on. What an idiot. Now check this out. Yes! Look at that. I absolutely love these. And then you throw in these, these protectors over the, the nylon part. Ah. Uh, just like new, ready for the next one. Thank you, Thad and Susan Bailey. Link in the description. Yeah, let me take them off now. All right, move it first. All right. Just gonna use the container sling in the rear just to scoot it over now. You wanna attach it to the rim? Quick. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. Right in the middle. Driver was what? He claimed last night he was testing out his new rims. So he's blaming the rims on this, huh? <laughs> Look like stock rims to me. Well, I'll tell you one thing: we pulled the car out by the rims, so the rims saw, are great. I saw, I saw where your shackles were. The the rims were great. I think speed was involved. You think? Uh, just They're a little. Out of the tunnel, and they don't realize the road curves. All right. Hey, at least you got the mattress out. Again, I don't know if the Sungler was in the way, but these are my custom-built container slings. They're called Pepe slings because they were custom-built for me and me only. Uh. All right, Dave's just gonna put a piece of wood under that rim or a skate. Shh. Strap it up, and we're good to go back to the shop. Cross our fingers, this has insurance. Yeah, a car like this has to have insurance. All right, Dave, let me see it. I'll put them away right now. Must have in every rotator. That come wireless headsets, baby. Woo! What a mess! Let me just put those here. You know what? My case is on the other side. Uh, I'm in the middle of working on a, a product review on these since people ask so much, but this is it. This is a headset you need. You just put them on, twist it on, and they're instantly connected. And I opted to get this uber cool carrying case for them. There's no stupid base station, crystal clear. They're awesome, man. I only buy quality stuff, so you know they're good. I'll take the antennas off so I can close it a bit easier. But Setcom, get yourself a set. You know what, I can't leave when I get to the shop. Oh. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Big Flipper, you did a wonderful job. Pulling that sucker up here. Oh, man. Halloween day, pushy 90 degrees. And I'm fishing a Mustang 5.0 off from the mountainside. 
I mean, it's closed in California anyway. Trick or treating is banned, so why not this? This is my treat. We're gonna put Big Flipper away, and then we're out. I'm gonna help Dave. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.